Hey guys, welcome back to another channel, another video. I know it's been a minute and life is just crazy for me and I think one of the hardest challenges for me is to stay consistent on YouTube videos and on my YouTube channel only because I have some real life problems going on and I really don't know how to deal with it half the time. For example, I struggle a lot with like my mental health being rocky. Um, some days and it's normally around the end of the year around fall i get really consistent um on youtube and i can really pump out some videos and talk about things that i'm very passionate about and then summer comes around and then depression hits me harder than ever and i just cannot even get out of bed but sometimes when my depression hits me during the fall time um it's just all bad all around but um, also, for those of you that don't know, I am a mother of two. Um, my husband and I run an Airbnb business, and we recently moved out of state and completely started over in a completely different coast. So, um, it has been completely challenging, to say the least. So, I really wanted to give you guys a, an update because I know that I was talking about moving, potentially moving, potentially staying, but we actually ripped it off like a band-aid and I decided to follow my instincts, follow my heart, which was go back to the West Coast, which is where we're at now. So um, a lot of moving parts and a lot of craziness happening. Um, I do have two little ones. I have a four-year-old and I have a three-year-old and I'm currently pregnant. I'm 16 weeks pregnant. So my hands are going to be full, 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 full. But something that I've been really thinking about lately and it's just been in the back of my mind is the fact that I am struggling and I have depression, anxiety, and all these things, but there's ways to really cope with it and there's ways to manage it and make everything that I want to do become a reality being a mom because a lot of the times when I'm following people on Instagram or YouTube I tend to compare myself a lot with like successful entrepreneurs that that are in positions that I would really want to be and I look at the time when they started and it's around the same time I had started but their consistency and their work ethic and everything that they are doing it's the right way to do it which is just staying consistent um and everything that they have to do but a lot of times i compare myself but i forget to take a step back and realize that a lot of these beautiful females don't have children they don't have dependents and they're not married um and that is just a huge just the fact that the kids alone is a huge difference because having kids is like having little people that you have to constantly be looking after, but not just looking after and doing the bare minimum, but also you have to educate them. They're looking at you constantly. They're constant, constantly needing you. Um, and, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna be out of breath because of my belly, but the, you got people that are constantly needing you. And sometimes I'm very hard on myself. And I, and I beat myself up because I look at other people and I tell, and I, and I can see and I compare myself Well, I started at the same time they did and I am not in the level of success that they are, whether that is with real estate, with that's, whether that's with YouTube, my personal uh, fitness, um, financially, there's a lot of factors that I do find myself comparing myself and that is one of the worst things that I can do because we're on a different time schedule. We're all living a different life. And a lot of the times, and, and I and I hate to say it, but there, I don't see a lot of female entrepreneurs being successful. And it kind of just makes me wonder, is it because kids are just that much harder to deal with or do they decide, they make a decision. Being a stay-at-home mom that's being like, just mom but it's nothing wrong with that but I'm just saying they just put their dreams aside and then time just life just continues going and then they just decide to put their life on pause and I see a lot of videos where and memes and stuff where it says moms stand stay still so their children can see how far 
they've taken them or how far they've gone. I semi agree, I semi don't agree with that statement only because a part of it is yes, it's like letting people know, letting moms know that it's okay um, to stay still if you want to. But on the other hand, for people that are very ambitious still and that have a lot of goals, it kind of makes them seem a little bit selfish to continue to pursue those dreams and goals and stuff. And I think that's where the disconnect happens because I strongly believe for you to continue your ambition, you can you continue your career and wanting to excel in life is a lot of the times is for your children because you want to put them in the best schools, you want to give them the best um, opportunities in life, uh, life experiences, you want to be able to have financial freedom so you can spend time and enjoy your life with your kids and not be stuck at work or have financial problems growing up um, like I did growing up. Uh, I We struggled with money for as long as I can remember. Um, so when, it, when I became an adult, I was really adamant to like work my butt off and eventually have my own business, break out of being financially stuck. And that's that's been my goal for years. Um, once I had my kids, everything did slow down. My, my momentum took a big break, but that's, I just feel like it's definitely possible. And I feel like there's not a lot of female women entrepreneurs that are showing that they're moms and speaking up saying like, okay, well, this is my lifestyle as a boss, as an entrepreneur, as a successful business owner, and this is also my lifestyle. While I'm doing all this, my kids are still not, they are still being well taken care of by the, the mom. Um, they're well fed, they're not neglected, they get a lot of attention. Um, a lot of the times, these moms travel with their children and that's not shown and I don't know why, but I think people like me would really appreciate to see successful women show that more often because it just kind of gives me that motivation like, yes, I can do it too. And I'm just thinking like, sometimes I do need that boost. I really wanted to focus on just mom struggles, but also um, talk about more about like my mental health, how I've been dealing with it so I can... I can touch some people out there and let you guys know that I'm not, like you're not by yourself. I want this to be like a channel where people feel safe to come to and relatable and it's also like a feel good channel so you won't feel like you're alone, which I have a few of those that as soon as I get on that channel, it's constant, just good feelings, motivation. Um, the feeling of everything is possible, which I truly believe it is. My life has changed completely from the time from when I was a child to to now, and it all started with a change of perspective. And I didn't realize that that's what it was until I got older and I started realizing and I started learning. I started really researching self-development and all these things. Um, but ultimately, that's what it was. Um, but I think my biggest... I, what I hope my biggest takeaway for you guys in this uh, video is to basically directly talk to the moms um, that are trying to be business owners that are pursuing a career while they are actively with their children because that is a community that I want to touch. That's the community that I want to see on my channel because that's who I am and that's where I'm going through right now. So I am... Um, a business owner, my husband and I own three Airbnb properties, not just Airbnb, we have three rental properties. We have, we're using two as an Airbnb, one as a furniture finder, and we, I've been learning as I go, okay? And then I'm also pregnant and we want to expand our family and we're doing it as a team. It's not just me doing it, uh, but I do plan on ex expanding my portfolio, I'm interested in doing a lot more with when it comes to real estate I want to also continue doing my YouTube channels because it's nowadays it's a lot about hustle it's like it's always been actually 
we gotta hustle, we gotta really work hard to continue succeeding in life and I think that's what my main focus is for this video. So with all that being said, my spiel is over and I hope I'm not the only one out there. And this is my baby, big belly. But yeah guys, it's so good to finally be back in the West Coast, seeing palm trees outside, seeing the sun come out. It's nice, it's really nice. But I hope you guys have a great day. Love you, bye.